welcome to the Grace Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don, I'm the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Did you see Yo. the uh, picture online of like the the house in Maui, Hawaii, that like every house around it had burnt down, but it was like still standing. The Did red, the red house, yeah, the red roof house, yeah. It that's the most wild shit I've ever seen. It's really insane how like nothing on their property was touched by the fire by the and, flames. And what I was reading in the comments a little deeper, so like it has a metal roof, yeah. so the metal roof can't catch on fire. It had uh, the walls are said are stucco. Which are mm. which is also fire, fire resistant. resistant yeah. There was like a three foot um, wide gravel around the the house itself. Mm -hmm. So like if if the fire came up to it, it couldn't get to the house. Mm -hmm. And then, but yet their yard was also green. So yeah. I don't know. Somebody said they may have had like a sprinkler system or like something put on something. Man. But like, how are they so prepared for fire when no one else is? I don't know if they were necessarily prepared. I just think that they uh, they made all the right fire retardant decisions and, <laughs> without knowing, essentially. Because honestly, stucco's hideous. Yeah, stucco is ugly, dude. And like, honestly, if you have the stucco house on on in, in your neighborhood, stop it. They do stucco on the outside of houses, and yeah, like exactly. If you have a stucco house, listen, listen to me, listen. Get real close to the podcast, all right? If you have turn a stucco your volume up. If you have a stucco house, stop it. Stop it. Scrape stop. it off. Go get some goddamn tile. What do you tile? What, what <laughs> do they call it? <laughs> aluminum siding. Yeah. I don't know. Do they even do aluminum siding? Yeah, that's anymore? all they do anymore. Is that all they do? I mean, you can get a real wood house too, but it looks all jank. What are what are the other options? Don't they do like the uh what's like the uh like the fake stuff? It's like a uh, fiberglass, not fiberglass, so like polyurethane. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I have no idea. I know they do the aluminum siding was big in like the like the eighties. I just don't know if they spend that much money because metal's expensive. Oh yeah, for sure. But like, so like if like you were the only house left and everybody else lost all their stuff, there's no like Bruh. there's no houses in that neighborhood forever. Yeah, like what do you even say? What do you do? Like you just gonna live there like by yourself? Yeah, I mean you're not. It's your home, dude. No matter what, it's still your home. I guess it just kind of sucks. It's like the circumstance. Yeah, because everything. I mean, honestly, now you've got prime location in like an area that has nothing. You know. Uh, I and, guess. Yeah. I mean, because like, one, yeah, the school, the school's gone, the grocery store's gone, the gas station's gone. Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that that is super crazy. And then like. I, I don't know if I would even be able to wake up and look outside and it just looks like the end of the world, you know? Yeah, it's like it's like desolation. Yeah. Like, cause like you said, everything around is burned, so, like, yeah. you can't... But, I mean, all your utilities, all your, like... And, like, they're not... That stuff is not a priority to get put back in there. There ain't a damn house around anywhere. So, it's like, what do you do? Like... I don't know. I, like, it, like, you basically, the value of your house is none now. Be, like, you have I mean, a house, but, yeah. like... Yeah, and yeah, hmm. it it is. It's a sad. It's a sad thing. By the way, uh, my heart goes out to those people. Like, Absolutely, you know, like wildfires are crazy. Yeah, Twitter prayers, I guess. Because yeah, uh, Twitter there's prayers. Also, is that what you just said? X that's, prayers. That's all I can really give. Uh, did you also hear about how there are companies already swooping in to try to buy up the land? You say Oprah was one of them. I didn't say that. Did, Did you, you say see that? that? I heard. I read. I heard. Truth, not facts. <laughs> that, that, Oprah that Oprah's swooping up Hawaiian fireland. Yeah, yeah. Kind of messed folks, up, dude, man. Dicks. Kind of. Yeah, because like, what are what? It's not like they're gonna give them more, right? They're it's like, well, oh. oh yeah. Well, you're right, and it's a long term investment. Like they realize right now, it ain't they ain't gonna get shit. But like, it'll be built built back up at some point. That's insane, man. That's insane. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not very uh, nice. And like, and even if they were to be like, "Look, I'm really sorry about what happened, so we're willing to give you for your land." Twenty seven. It's, it's so it's so scummy, right? That is so scummy, right? Yeah, if you had a bunch of money, but it's would you illegal. be scummy? Yes. It's not illegal, though. That's the thing. It's not. It's not illegal. And the people that have sold the land to them are adults and have a choice. 
In fact, Jonas, <laughs> I've heard about certain realtors that are scummy. You know, they uh they look for certain houses that have you know have had like accidents in them, and they know they're up for oh, like a murder. I wouldn't even say that, but like a fall in the home, something like that. Usually murder houses, because you have to divulge that kind of stuff. Oh, like a death in the house, like a yeah. suicide, or like a like fell off the balcony. Yeah, I don't think you have to di- di- divest that. But I know if like somebody was murdered in the house, I'm pretty sure you have to say that. Uh. You can't just like let people move into a murder house. Like there was 26 cheerleaders killed in the basement. Would you, I, would, I want to know that. Would you move into a murder house? Does would it depend what kind of murder? Into a murder house. Yeah. Like multiple murders happened in the house. Does or that did... matter? Yeah. So if like one guy killed his wife, that's oh, fine. Yeah, dude. But I'll if like one in. guy killed like 26 cheerleaders in the basement. Yeah, that's a little nuts, right? I need to know that. I need to know that. Do you feel that the house holds that energy and like maybe convinced him to do the murder and that like it would like leak into you? No, but if I'm house hunting with with my honey, then I would like to know if the 26 cheerleaders so I can at least keep that in my mind when I'm making my decision on the, on the final home that I want to live in. But does it make a difference at all, really? It does if another option comes up why? where there weren't 26 cheerleaders but why <laughs> but why if it if it doesn't gonna affect you in any way it's not like gonna like poltergeist you into like murder rage why does it matter if somebody was murdered in the house um i don't know you're you know you like hmm you make a good point there but the same thing would be like if the house was like Owned by like I don't know David Duke or something like I, I'm good I'm right. probably I don't know man it's just certain things like if like I don't know the, the Hitler had this house in his family name and they sold it do you know I don't want to live in a Hitler house I don't I don't I don't be and that's another thing it's like if you live in a house where like historical events like that have happened <laughs> they tend to invite a bad element. Like people might be like, "Oh, this is the twenty six cheerleader murder house. This is the it's the old Jensen house. They just bought the old Jensen house. They just moved in. Mm, it's the old I, Kruger crib. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't need that. I don't need the bus tours coming around. And if you look to our left, you can see the the Jensen murder house where twenty six cheerleaders were killed. Why wouldn't you just make it an attraction and let people in the not, basement? See, now you moving it into a whole. Now I'm just gonna choose the other house where there weren't twenty six cheerleaders at this point. This is what I'm saying. I'm just going to choose not 26 year leader murder house. I'm just going to take the house. Why? I don't need the. Are you afraid of the ghosts? I don't want to open up a fucking boutique. I just want to live in my home, all right? <laughs> I just want to live in my home. I don't want to think about cheerleaders. I just want to live in my house, not think about cheerleaders, and not open up a fucking you, boutique. Can I not think, open a boutique? Do you think the ghosts would be in there? No. I don't believe in ghosts, but on the same note, I don't want to take my fucking chances either. All right. I'd rather not take my chances. I'd rather not open a boutique and I'd rather not think about cheerleaders. All right. So those are three things that I don't have to think about if I just choose a different house. Do you like thinking about a live cheerleaders? I don't want to think about cheerleaders at all. I don't want to think about the Dallas Cowboys. I don't want to think about the, the, uh, the, the Hooters girls. Just because <laughs> the Hooters I, girls. I don't want to think about them. I don't. I don't want to move into a murder house. I don't want to open a boutique and I don't want to live in Florida. All right, so if yeah, okay, well, why why would you want to live in Florida? I don't know. It's fucking Florida. I'd rather not think about Florida. All right, I don't think about Florida ever. Honestly, if you ask me, house in Florida, murder house, twenty six cheerleaders. I'm taking a murder house. Oh yeah, <laughs> you, 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 you've got there Every now. Like you just time. said, you were about to buy a house in Florida, and now and now you're gonna now you're gonna have the murder Every house single. in Texas over the Florida house. Every single time. Yep. Wow, I don't want to live. Oh no, I was going to say they're on the same level as as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want either one. Uh, yeah, murder house. Would you? Would you? Wouldn't care, right? Probably not. No. No. Okay. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. I I would say is that it would be like. eh. I don't necessarily want anybody like, oh, I've been studying this house and now I'm going to come in here and murder 26 more cheerleaders. Oh, Jesus. I don't want to be dressed up like happens? I don't want to be dressed up like a cheerleader and killed. I don't. Is that what they do? Uh, they could. I mean, they could. They definitely could. I I could there's some sick people out there, man. And there's a reason that's been, you know, brought in the media because that kind of shit does happen. 
Jonas, real quick question before we end, because I know we're about to end. Which race do you think gives the best head? I'm just asking. You're asking some real naughty questions. What are you trying to say in an episode? I don't dude. mind. It's this, it, dude, if you made it this far an episode, it's this guy's night out at this point. Oh, is it? The I don't algorithm have, doesn't I don't matter. I have an opinion deep. because I only date one race. <laughs> ah, I love that, that answer. Was the that's the best answer in the world. <laughs> All right, yeah, drop microphone. Honestly. That is, that's not you even true. fire this week, honestly. <laughs> It's not even true, but anyways. Uh, all right. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to crazytown.com for Jonas. Do you think? We out.